The Battle of the Alamo is perhaps the most celebrated war story in Texas history. How did a ragtag group of soldiers put up such a fight against a massive Mexican army? The answers are revealed in documents just put up for auction by the estate of Robert E. Davis, founder of the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame. Here to explain these documents and how you could own them from the R&R &R Auction House, please welcome Bobby Livingston. Hello. This collection here is amazing, and I'm, I have chills right now because I love history so much, and to actually see these things, uh, how did they come to be available for auction? Robert Davis owned a printing company called the Texian Press, and he put out history books of Texas. And th he had a, a fraternity of, of paper traders that he traded things with, and he was able to procure some incredible documents, rare yeah. ones that are historically significant, have not been on the market in a generation or two. Uh, this is the first time they've really been seen. So yeah. they reveal new information. This first one here has to do with the Alamo, and you can travel around the world. And people will say, where are you from? And you could say Dallas, Houston, you could say Austin, where they go, oh, the Alamo, baby, <laughs> baby. All know about the Alamo. That, that's right. So. And this one is written by the commander of the Alamo, William Barrett Travis, who, of course, you know, is famous <laughs> for the uh, uh, legend of drawing the line in the sand. Here, uh, he's writing about uh, 682 feet of walnut scantling now in use in the, in the Alamo for cannon platforms. Oh, so this, this happened, he wrote this in the Alamo. That's correct. That's correct. And he's giving it to a, a receipt to a local Tejano shopkeeper who gave him the wood, 50 beams of black walnut. Uh, and he wanted to make sure the shopkeeper got paid because he knew Santa Ana was coming, the, the government was coming to squash them. So uh, this was an, uh, basically an IOU. But it's a, a, a powerful mythic document that uh, sheds new light onto the Alamo. Incredible yeah. stuff. And amazing that it's still around. Yes. Yeah, in, in great condition. There is another one that Travis wrote the day before, February 20th, 1836. Santa Ana shows up on the 23rd. This one is for the last supplies into the Alamo. Mm -hmm. Here, you look, you, get, you have 640 pounds of uh, coffee, 370 pounds of tobacco, 25 <laughs> the two pounds. important things that keep you going there, huh? <laughs> yep. 25 pounds of gunpowder and three bars of lead. And look, Travis at the bottom says, now uh, uh, has been delivered to this garrison, William Barrett Travis, Lieutenant Commander. So this is the last stuff that the men had and they had they went 13 days with very little supplies so we now know they had coffee yeah. and, and tobacco <laughs> they yeah. had starbucks and they had yeah okay so uh, I, and when you know i mentioned that these are still around part of the reason why they're still around is tremendous care and how they're handled we have our gloves on here because we don't want to the oils can destroy and break down this paper that's why i'm so amazed that it people had the the forethought to keep them as uh, safe as possible that, that, that's right we we all we do is sell manuscripts and documents and we take great care we've been doing it for 30 years Years, mm -hmm. Every month, and this is in, in 30 years. This is the first Jim Bowie document oh. we've ever had, uh, and it's an amazing. Yeah. Look at the flourish. Cool. Look at his signature. Is that not the 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 coolest uh, signature? The inventor of the Bowie knife. Uh, just, just incredibly rare. Probably a six-figure document. Oh, wow, and this amazing handwriting that they had back then, and they, I guess they used the ink fountain pens. The, that's the, right. Yeah. Right. The the quill. Yeah, quill pens. Yes. Right. Uh, this I wanted to show you. This is uh, this is Santa Ana's actual field commands to his second in command, Fila Sola, to invade Texas. Uh, and oh my gosh! The, in here, uh, he talks about uh, invading Texas, and he predicts that the rebels are going to fortify the mission. And uh, he also uh, gives a first-hand report here of when he gets to San Antonio and how Travis fires a cannon at him yeah. in instantly. In and so it's a, an incredible. Uh, here you see February. Uh, 1836. Yeah, and you can also see where he spilled some of his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All that coffee that came in. This is something else. Okay, what about our it's next document here? Uh, this is also a Santa Ana document. Most people don't know that after he left power in Mexico, he moved to New York City and lived there in the 1860s. New York City? Yeah, he lived on Staten Island. Can yeah. you imagine? <laughs> This stuff's made in New York City. So uh, he, he uh, tried to hire a former Union soldiers to reinvade because he wanted to uh, get his power back. So this is an, a, a great uh, document. Here's his signature down here, Santa Ana. Uh. So th th it's pretty amazing. The, la the last thing that we have is a, a Sam Houston land grant for a, battle, uh, for a uh, veteran of the Battle of Coletto Creek, mm -hmm. uh, which is Goliad, called Goliad. Yeah. You can see... Uh, down the bottom there is an enormous, enormous signature of Sam Houston. It's probably the biggest that we've ever seen. So it's a, uh, it's a fantastic. Yeah, fantastic a lot of document. us, you know, we we studied these things in school, especially if we went to school in Texas. You had Texas history. We have some students here today uh, from U of H, and so uh, you studied all these things. But it's kind of cool to really see it up here 
in real life, these pieces right here. That's right. All right, let's talk about how people can get their hands on sure. these. Obviously, they're rare pieces. They're going to be pricey, but, uh, you know, you can, you can argue that it's also priceless. Sure. We, we've got about 234 uh, different uh, items on, on sale on our website at RR. RRAuction.com, and things will start at $100 and go to six figures. So there is, but the, there is stuff for Texas history at a reasonable price. And if they they register uh, to bid, they get a free catalog, and uh, it goes uh, from November 10th to the 17th. Okay. So, uh, so you just basically you kind of go in and and you bid, check your bid, rebid, check right. your bid, and and just see it's, where it is. It's ends. an eBay style auction. Yeah. We're a licensed bonded auction house in New Hampshire, but it, but it is a timed auction. This is really, really cool. So you run across a lot of things being an auction house. Um, what are some of the most amazing things that, that you've seen? And what would you say to someone who says, mm, that's going to cost a chunk of change? But <laughs> one, of, one of the other things we do is we work with the astronauts, uh, some, from, from, some from Texas, uh, and we auction some of the things that have been to outer space. So when you get to hang out with those guys and talk about them being on the moon, uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, a part of history as well. So, but we also get to see uh, letters from Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, wow. uh, Thomas Jefferson, uh, all the greats of history. That's what we specialize in. We specialize in documents and rare letters. Yeah, and the, and the thing is, I think especially when we come into times that we are right now, where people are feeling a little uneasy, a little threatened, we get nostalgic about our past because what it tells us when you look at something about the Alamo, they believed in what they were doing and they fought to their death. And so it's kind of that stuff that we're made of as human beings and. And that is whatever challenges you have coming up, these things are the reminders that whatever you're going through, someone's been through it before and made it through. That's right. Tr Travis and all the, the men that were slaughtered at the Alamo believed in liberty and democracy, mm -hmm. and the government had taken away their rights. And so they gathered there at the Alamo and decided to fight the federal government for their rights, what had been promised them, and, the, and uh, they gave their lives in the name of liberty. And that's what's so eloquent and great about Travis and the, and the fallen yeah. at the Alamo. And, and yeah, in that sense, they won. And that's why that story is so legendary today. We always say, remember the Alamo. Right. All right, the Texas uh, and Western Autograph and Artifact Auction starts November 10th and runs through the 7th. It's an online auction, as we mentioned, and we put a link to it at greatdayhouston.com. And again, that website is? It's rrauction.com, and we're in Amherst, New Hampshire. All right. Thank so. you very much. Thanks, Coming up, how one determined Texan made sure our iconic longhorns would live on forever. We'll take you inside the museum that preserves their unique place in Texas history after the break.